October 14th, Manchester, AO Arena, live on the zone. I'm joined by King Kenny, Anthony Taylor. This card may be the biggest stat card in crossover boxing. We have KSI versus Jimmy Fury, Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis, and we have the return of huge cards. So, people, we're three weeks away. How are we both feeling? Well, it looks like Anthony's already sleeping like he is going to be on fight night. So uh, you better wake <laughs> up, man. <bro. laughs> just got out of his bed now. He's got out of his bed. He's chilling. No, nah, but I'm, fe I'm feeling good, man. Training camp is hard. You know, it's tough as always. Grueling. But we're feeling sharp. Feeling ready. Three weeks away. Yeah. I got my mink, my mink uh, cover on. I'm feeling good. I slept in. Because, you know, I'm about to sleep in on Sunday night after I win that belt. After I beat King Kitty. <laughs> you wish, bro. You wish. You're you're only sleeping in that ring. That's the only sleeping you're doing. Hey, hey, if you put me to sleep, that'd be the best thing for me because I haven't had a good night's sleep in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, man. Out both your fights. You both had some emphatic wins. Anthony yeah. Taylor beating Silk Pappy and King Kenny with a massive performance against Winderson Nunes. Talk to yeah, me about yeah, those yeah. five boys. Kenny, what did you actually make of Anthony Taylor's win against Salt Uh He had a, you know, went in there with a good game plan, obviously. He was a lot of hugging, though, which is uh, interesting. A lot of people didn't like the hugging, but at the end of the day, he did what he had to do to get the win. Uh, he left himself, you know, I saw a lot of holes in his game that we're going to exploit when we fight him, but, you know, he won. No matter what happened, he won, so fair play. And Anthony Taylor, what did you actually make of King Kenny's win against Winderson Nunes? A lot of people say, well, that is possibly the best performance they've seen in YouTuber crossover boxing. Man, I was impressed because watching Kenny, I knew that wasn't the same Kenny who fought Raksu. That wasn't the same Kenny who fought Sensei. That wasn't the same Kenny who fought Temper. That was a whole different Kenny. That was a whole different fighter. You know, watching Kenny, I saw a lot of... uh. Tommy the Hitman Hearns, you know, very similar style, very lanky and long, and he poses a threat. He poses a big threat to me, more of a threat than Tommy Fury because he knows how to use his reach and he knows how to use his jab. So I'm looking forward to seeing this matchup. I only want the best, and I want him to be at his best. So you said he's, you know, he's a threat. Why have you taken this fight then? Do, do you think King Kenny's intimidating with that recent win? Ah, absolutely. You know, Kenny is ready to go to war anytime. He's fought six times. I think it's going to be his seventh fight within one year. I'm impressed. You know, yeah. that's that's more than anybody has fought in the influence of scene besides me. Kenny's well up to the challenge for it, and his brother's going to definitely have him prepared for this fight. I mean, Kenny's been in camp since probably since since the Winterson Nunes fight. You know, he's he's had a longer camp than everybody on the card because of that fallout of what happened on Kingpin because what all this happened. So, I mean, it's going to be a tough fight. I know that this is probably going to be my toughest fight to date. Absolutely. Now, there, there's too many kind words at the moment. I, w I want a bit of beef. Now, Kenny, I need to know, what do you actually make of Anthony Taylor's ability? Do you do you recognise him as a dangerous opponent? Yeah, he's, he's dangerous, you know, in his own way. I wouldn't say he's the best, you know, boxer. But he's definitely he definitely goes in there to fight and and scrap. I, I wouldn't say he's, he's the best. He's got the best boxing ability, but he's definitely got like a you know a heart of a fighter. So I know he's going to give me a tough fight for sure. Okay, and you're, you're both are fighting on the biggest card that influencer boxing influencer boxing's ever seen. Is there any added pressure for you both to turn up on that night? No, just I mean, you know, I yeah. just go in there, you know, go in there and have fun. Like you know, my last fight. Main event sold out against you know a big Brazilian superstar, and I went into the Lions Den and I held my own and had fun. So this is gonna be like no difference. I'm just gonna go in there and gonna go have fun in the ring. Now, how about you, AT? Are you are you starting to feel the pressure? You know, it's only three weeks away. Are the nerves starting to kick in at all? <laughs> nah, this is what I do. I beat the biggest stars. I become that star. I kind of feel disrespected because Kenny is ranked ahead of me, and I should be, I should be top five. So you know, why should you be top five if you're if you're a pro? 
I mean, think about it. Why why should KSI get the same treatment if you fought as many times as KSI and fought tougher opponents? Like, let's think about it. You fought tougher opponents than KSI. That's why true, should yeah. they treat you different than KSI? And KSI is trying to fight Tommy Fury, which is equivalent of you trying to fight me. I mean, yeah. we have to we have to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? I, if if we had to word it, yeah. If we had to really put it like this, Kenny's number four. I'm ranked number five. I have to beat Kenny to get into that top five. Kenny's in my way. He's in the way for me getting that title. He was once a Misfits champion, so I got to prove people that, hey, I deserve to be a people champ. And me beating King Kenny is going to be the perfect example why I'm going to be the people's champ. Now, Kenny, what do you actually make of him saying that he should be rated higher than you? Do, do you actually believe that? Wait, are you rated higher than me or am I rated higher than you? What's the ranking? You're number, number, you're you're rated high. You're number so, seven, I'm number eight. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't even know the official rankings because there's so many that gets flung around on the internet. But So what is it? You're number eight and I'm seven? Yes, sir. Slim's number okay, six. Yeah. Gibbs, number five. Dean's number four. KSI is number three. Jake Paul's number two. Tommy's number All one. Right. I guess, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. In that case, yeah, then this fight makes sense for seven and eight to fight. And, uh, you know, I come out victorious and then I go to who's number six? Slim. Who's number six? Slim. Okay, so we're going to see who wins. I get the winner of Slim versus Salt Pappy. Interesting. You see how he's saying, hey, Morgan, you see how he's assuming that he's going to beat me? Look, man, <laughs> I, I feel confident I'm going to beat Kenny decisively. I don't need to grab. Styles makes fights. Me grabbing Kenny is just me trying to come in and grab Kenny is just a nightmare for me getting uppercuts. So I need to make this a dirty fight like Ashley Raxu. So I, I feel like my game plan is going to work perfectly for Kenny. Okay, and the, let, let's talk about that game plan. How are you going to make your way and prove that jab? That jab that, you know, put Windows and Nunes away. I got that Mike P Tyson Peekaboo style. Okay. I've been working on it. I've been working oh, on it. You always, hard. you've been talking about that Mike Tyson stuff for a long time. For a Can long your brother time. Help I really, you I really, I really haven't seen it. I really haven't seen it. I really Can haven't seen it in any of your fights. Style. Of your course, brother... but I haven't, se I haven't seen you do that peekaboo style in any of your fights, and you've been saying that for the longest time. Let's be real, Anthony. When have you actually used that peekaboo style in any of, the, uh, any of your Ashley fights? Ashley Raksu, Jack Fitcher. You, you used the peekaboo style in the Ashley Raksu fight. Where? Yeah, you see what I did? Three seconds. Don't look, Todd. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Well, look, Kenny's been on my radar since number one, since day one. I knew I was going to have to fight Kenny eventually. It was going to be either sooner or later. The time is now. I need to let people know, hey, I have potential of beating and knocking out King Kenny. Hey, now, 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 Kenny, I want to talk about Anthony Taylor. Man said knocking out. Right hands. How are, are you? T are you scared that he's going to land that big right hand? Do you think he will oh, land? That big hand? You mean he his overhand right that yeah, he, that, that you can see him telegraph from miles away that I'll easily avoid. Come on now, easily avoid. He won't be able to touch me. He won't be able to touch me, man. Hey, do you think it's going to be easily avoided, or what? Are your thoughts on that? Hey, bro, you can like, see his shots coming like from a boy. mile away. Like my boy Spartan J said, this is the call. This is called the Napoleon complex punch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hit him with that overhand right. You see how big my hands? You see how big my face is? You, know you got saying? big hands, but my hands are big as well. Look at my hands and look at my face. My hands are big. You, you this know, is what, you know this is what hand, you gotta get past first you to know even your land hands that than your overhand face, right. You know, if your hands bigger than your face, you have cancer, right? Interesting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> do it. You see what I mean? Do it. Do it. Take a look. Take a look. 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 Nah, you know what? He's trying to set me up. I ain't know. Nah, I, I ain't you think I'm, I swear to God, do it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Look, you see how big my look. Try it. You'll see it. Try it. I, I, I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna do that. But I know I got big hands. So okay. we can. We can all. We can all do the sizing on the camera. Uh, AT, you're sick, man. You're actually sick in the head. Hey, I'm the sickest. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. I'm just, hey, I'm so sick. Let me show you how sick I am. Y'all think I'm joking? Hi, bro. Bubbles, Number trouble. 11. Come here. Okay. Oh, give me dogs. Give me dogs. Give me dogs. I'm playing. They're all on the couch. I mean, they're on the couch. Give me dogs. Let me show you how sick I am. 
Uh, I got, uh, you got, I, I, I got a cat as well. See, that's I how got sick my cat I am. Well. I kiss my dogs. See, that's this, how this sick I am. I kiss my dogs. Okay, we're getting dogs and cats involved now. This is... Hey, hey, I kiss my dogs on the lips. That's how sick I am. Wow. Okay, people. Okay, we got already back into the box in here because we take a lot of that turn. Now, I want to ask both of you. You both want that KO to make a statement, to get that slim fight, to get that sort of pappy fight. How are you both going to navigate your way in getting that KO? I want to start off with Kenny. Well, obviously, he uh, leaves himself open a lot. And if I see an opening, I'm going to take it. As simple as that. I won't hesitate. Uh, just go straight for it. You know, I'll set it up and get it. Now, AT, how are you going to actually navigate your way in getting this big KO? You know, you want to show the world how good you are. How are you going to do that? <laughs> well, Kenny do has a big head. So it'd be easy for bro, me. Bro, your head is bigger than mine. Bro, I can't look. You know what? When, when, we do the, when, we, when we do the face off, let's put our heads next to each other. Let's see whose heads is bigger. Your head is definitely bigger than mine. Okay. No see, cap. You, so, so look, my my key and path to victory is head hunting King Kenny's big ass head. I'm going to get in. I'm going to double jab his head like he's a double in bag. Hit him with the left <laughs> hook, right hook, uppercut, walk off. Just like Mike Tyson did Frank Bruno in the UK. Wow. He's calling himself Frank Bruno and Mike Tyson. Wow. That, 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 that's an interesting say, AT. I'm hoping to see Mike Tyson on the night. Now, I want to know, and I'm sure all the Misfits fans at home want to know, is there any bad blood in this fight? Or do you both just respect each other and are, respect each other's ability? Hey, is, is there's no bad blood no. at all. Yeah, that's... It's not like we don't hate each other. It's just, it's more of a competitive sport. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm better than you or no, I'm better than you. Same thing how I feel about KSI. I like KSI as a person for the things he do, but fuck him as a fighter because I want to fight him. Same thing as a Kenny. I like Kenny and his personality, but fuck Kenny because I want that fucking title and I want to kick his ass <laughs> because I want to piss off his brother daily so bad. <laughs> is, that, is that possible be for daily then? Is it, are you nah, nah, it just, I just daily just gets a hell of mad hella fast. <laughs> so I like poking the bear all the time. <laughs> now, but now, yeah, there, there, there's no bad blood. It's literally just you know competitiveness, like it's competition, straight up. Like there's no friends in the ring, straight up. Absolutely. Now, At the end of the day, this is an Ivan Drago Apollo Creed moment, and I'm fucking Apollo, and I'm fucking Ivan Drago. <laughs> you just said you're Apollo. Nah. That's not good, Anthony. You messed up. Listen, you know what I'm, happened to I'm Apollo, right? Drago, and if he dies, he dies. Look, man, I'm looking to be the man who takes over Misfits after KSI beats Tommy Fury and he retires. I'm that guy. He's that guy. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is a very stacked card. There's a lot of big fights. But what's going to make your fight the fight of the night? What can we expect on the night, boys? Well, I think with Anthony's style, you know, he's a come forward fighter. You know, he comes, he throws his hands. And obviously, I've had a few fights now. I've built the confidence of me, you know, throwing my hands as well. So I think it's going to be a very good fight, you know, for the card. It's going to be entertaining as well. We're both, you know, entertaining fighters in the ring as well. Maybe not Anthony because he likes to hold a lot. But, you know, I hope he brings out the dog, the dog in him for this fight. <laughs> uh I'm coming out like Care Bear. I like to give hugs. Kenny needs a hug, a long hug. So I'm expecting to give him some hugs and some punches and some dirty boxes. You know, you know, I might give him a little elbow or two, you know, a little low blow. Oh, once inspired by KSI. <laughs> inspired, hey, if the ref don't see it, it's legal. You know what I'm saying? My, me, hey, if I'm coming with the peekaboo style, I might give him a fucking ear bite on the fucking ear and take a chunk of his ear. That's how I'm feeling during the fight. Hey, that's how I'm feeling. Wow. Okay, so there's going to be ear bites. There's going to be elbows. It's going to be a mouth. You got to understand. <laughs> skill set, this fight is by far better than skill. This is going to be a better fight than Waleed and Dean, too. Why? Because you got some of the biggest stars, me and Kenny, on this card. Who should be the fucking co-main event? We don't know why Logan Paul is fighting Dylan has a cold, but we should be the cold. At the end of the day, this is going to be a fucking dog fight, and I'm gonna get my hand raised as the one and only Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor. 
Kenny not Shake said, is, is, that's not in the game plan, is it, Kenny? Hey, not let's happening. make a bet. Not in my world. Loser has to shave each other's head, and Kenny needs a haircut because his hair is starting to fade anyway. Hey, can <laughs> we have this bet? Wait, wait, wait. Both of you. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we can, we can have In the bet. ring. Yeah, wait. Shave it in the ring. Shave it in the yeah. ring. <laughs> in the ring. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. That, Let's do it. Can we get that yeah. in the contract, built boys? Anthony Taylor, Kenny, shave it. Message Mams. Message Mams. I make it happen. I, I got to think about that because I do like my hair. And the, oh, so you come on, man. And you the odds, and the odds of you me winning the this bet. fight, you can't do that. I'm, about you can't eight, do that. I'm, I'm like an eight and one underdog right now, so I might just take that bet away. And that doesn't I sound do. like you're very confident in your own ability. Do you, do you not? Hell like, no. Oh, hell man. no. You never, hey, man, I might come in and catch a cold that week. You, you know what I'm saying? Kissing all them girls. Well, so what do you I mean, mean by you, do you, do you, what, What's going on here? I don't know what games he's playing at because he was the one who wanted to do the bet. But, you know, I'm down for the bet if he wants to do it. I'm confident in winning. So, um, yeah. Kenny, take off. You got to take off. You got to take this home. Can we get a reveal? You, you, no, no, no. Like, you don't no want to see it. what's the, you know? <laughs> I want Kenny, reveal it to the people. Everyone wants to know what's under the do-rack. What's, what's under the... the hey, Bada, Bada coming for you, bro. Let us know, Kenny. If you ain't on roids, you got to take it off. If I'm not on roids, I have to take it off. What are you talking yeah, about? Let, I always have my do right let, let us know that you're true. Take off, take off the piece. Can we, we get the true identity. Can we, can we, get it off? we want to see your true identity, Kenny. Take you know off. what? You you will see my hair on fight night. That's when you'll see my hair. Hey, 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 you sure I'm gonna see it? Are you sure you sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? Uh ATO Club. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we've, that, we've talked about hair. Now, I want you both, before we end this off, to give your final words to all the fans at home waiting, anticipating for this big event. Give your final words, Anthony Taylor, and then I want your final words, Kenny, to all the fans at home. I need you final guys. Words. Okay. I need you yeah. guys to know once I come to England, I'm going to beat King Kenny, and then I'm going to be the new King of England once I get my hands raised with that misfits around my belt, my waist. Now, Kenny, what's your final words? Anthony Taylor on that's, the other end of the screen. That's cute. AT, you're getting a beat down, okay? I hope you're coming in ready, and I hope you're actually training. I hope you're not going around drinking in nightclubs. You know what I'm talking about. I hope you're actually training and putting a good fight for the audience because, um, yeah, you're going to get it that night. So we've heard it here first. Fight of the night. The zone pay-per-view. Claire Sy versus Tommy Fury. Local versus Dylan Dennis and many more. This is stacked event, so make sure you get in the pay-per-view. You get going to the event. It's going to be insane out of boxing, and we'll see you very soon.